hit enter and boom, it automatically formats our code. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Dave and my goal is to help you level up as a data scientist. And today I have another exciting new video for you guys. In today's video, I will show you how I automatically format my Python code for my data science projects. Uh, I do this with a package uh, that I've recently came across with um, and it's called Black. Uh, and actually a software developer friend of mine recommended this package to me uh, and I was basically blown away by how awesome this package is. Uh, and as I said, now I use it for all my data science projects. So Black is a, a Python code formatter, which basically restructures your code according to certain rules. This basically ensures that you are following Python uh, style guide and the style guide that Black uses is the PAP8 style guide which is the most common uh, style guide for uh, for Python. If you're not familiar with PAP8 yet, I would highly recommend checking out this website. I will leave a link in the description. Basically in the PAP8 style guide, there are uh, rules for basically every part of your Python code. So there are rules for indentation. There are rules for how you should structure lists tabs or spaces, maximum line lengths, etc. List goes on and on. And a style guide basically ensures that your code is, is easy to read and uh, that when you share your code with others, they also understand your code and basically everyone is on the same page. So black is basically a Python package that you can install using pip, uh, which I will show you in a bit. Uh, that you can use to automatically uh, format your code according to PAP8. So that's what I will show you in today's video. So um, let's hop into VS Code and I have an example project open here. The first thing you have to do is basically install black, which is as easy as uh, running the command pip install black. So when I do this now, uh, it will say that the requirement is already satisfied, but uh, this is how you install black. And then basically how black works is you can run the command black and then specify a directory or uh, a file. So you can either format whole folders uh, at once or you can do it file by file. So um, what we can do here, if we're looking at the example file here, which has a pretty long uh, list, according to uh, the PAP8 style guide, uh, lines can only go to a certain length. So if we go back to the style guide, uh, maximum line length of uh, 79 characters. So this list over here exceeds uh, that maximum length. And there are also some other parts within this code that are not in line with the style guide. So how this works is we run black and then we link to our Python file, hit enter and boom, it automatically formats our code, which is awesome in my opinion. So as you can see, uh, the list uh, that was previously exceeding the maximum line length is now uh, split up into separate lines so that it's easier to read. Uh, it also created some space between the imports and the start of our code and it also removed a white line here uh, from this loop. So basically now this whole Python file here is in line with the PAP8 style guide uh, formatted by black. So this is really awesome. and. Uh, what I've just showed you is how to do this uh, manually. So for each file, for each folder, uh, you would have to run this command that I've just shown you uh, whenever you want to format uh, your code. But VS Code has a really awesome feature to do this automatically. And I will now show you how to do that. Okay, so we go to the settings and there are two settings that we have to change. Uh, the first one is the Python formatting provider. Here you can see Python formatting provider and we can choose from AutoPep 8, black, none, and another one. So here you select black. So that's the first setting. Then we need one more setting that is format on save. So editor format on save, check this. And you can set this at the user level. So then from now on, every project, every new project that you will start in VS Code will use uh, these settings. And so now if I close out on the settings and here I am within the file and I now hit command S, boom, it automatically formats the code. So that is really convenient in my opinion. So then you don't have to open up the terminal and run the command uh, black uh, link to the file pad every time you want to format your code. Now, every time you save a file, it will be restructured. So if I make some changes over here and I hit command S, 
boom, it formats it again. This basically ensures that you never have to worry about formatting your code again and you can just focus on quote code quality, readability, and yeah, just making your code as good as possible. And then black on the back end will fix the formatting for you. So this has really helped me out. Uh, as I said, I've, en I've enabled this by default within my VS Code project. So all my uh, Python projects, all my data science projects uh, will follow the same, same style guides. And this will make my code easier to read, easier to share with others, and yeah, easier, easier to collaborate in that way. So that's what I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope that you like it. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more videos related to Python, data science and machine learning. So if that's something you're interested in, you should definitely subscribe. It will be fun. See you in the next one.